Welcome to Fook VR YouTube channel. For those new to my channel, my channel is about programming, specifically Android programming. If you find the video interesting, please click like and subscribe to the latest videos, or you can come to my blog to see the latest articles. Glide is a library that loads images we are all too familiar with. I have a video tutorial on using this library for the original toolkit for building native UI. You can find that video again by clicking on the left corner. Glide's dev team has just released Glide's Compose in September 2022. Due to its recent release, it will be labeled an experimental API. This means that there will be some sudden changes between versions. Integrating Glide's Compose into your application is fairly straightforward. You don't need to change or add any other components. Instead, add a Gradle dependency on the Compose integration library. The primary integration point between Compose and Glide is Glide Image. Glide Image is meant to be similar to Compose's image function, except it uses Glide to load images asynchronously. Simple use cases of Glide Image can include just a model and a content description. You can supply a custom modifier to customize how Glide image is rendered. You can also provide the alignment, content scale, color filter, and alpha parameters that have identical defaults and function identically to the same parameters in Compose's image. To configure the Glide load, you can provide a request builder transformation function. The function will be passed a request builder that already has loaded called on it with your given model. You can then customize the request with any normal glide option. Here I will add two options when loading, error and placeholder. As with Glide's view integration, Glide's Compose integration will attempt to determine the size of your composable and use that to load an appropriately sized image. That can only be done efficiently if you provide a modifier that restricts the size of the composable. If Glide determines that the composable's width or height is unbounded, it will use target size underscore original, which can lead to excessive memory usage. Whenever possible, make sure you either set a modifier with a fixed size or provide an override size to your Glide request. In addition to saving memory, loads from the disk cache will also be faster if your size is smaller. Glide's Compose API does not explicitly support Glide's transition class. Similarly, while Glide's placeholder, error, and fallback request options work and can be provided via Glide Images Request Builder Transform, Glide does not currently support custom composable functions for each of those states. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it interesting, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel, or you can invite me for a cup of coffee by buying me a coffee.